What is up everybody? Benny the Beast here with the third video in this tutorial series, how to create custom Beat Saber maps. What I want to go over today are three things, a few more editor tips and tricks, my personal note philosophy and how I like to make maps flow, and how to export your map to Beat Saber. We'll cover lighting in another tutorial all on its own, but for today we'll cover those three things. The first thing you want to know uh, about copying and pasting, uh, well, you should start here for the first thing. Here are all the editing controls, read them out, understand them, get to know them, test them, and they'll definitely help you in the long run. So if you see down here selection controls, that's where we're going to start. You can hold shift and click to select um, notes, shift click to deselect. When you're copying a section, say here we go we made a section shift click control c and control v to paste you can also cut in here that's control x uh, paste that back in place one note i want to make is if you ever forget that things are selected you want to control control a everything to deselect because if you if you forget so say we forgot those three notes were selected and it's like oh i like this pattern I want to copy it and I want to paste it here. Oh God, where did these three notes come from? They were the ones that you forgot to deselect. And what, when this really comes into playing, it's really annoying, is if you've ever copied an extremely long section and you forget that there's some notes, you're just going to have a bad time. And then you have to delete them because there's no undo. So remember that, people. No undo. What can you do? Get screwed. So another thing you can do with your notes is you can move them around. When you selected them, you can hold shift and press the up arrows and the down arrows to move it forward or backwards in the chart. It's, it moves based on cursor precision. So when it's one to one, that's moving a whole note. When you control scroll wheel down to say a quarter note, it'll move that far of the distance. The other type of movement you can do is just with the keypad. You can move them up in the cursor uh, this cursor line or down or you can move them right and left they do a weird little split it gets kind of trippy but it's fantastic if you ever want to use it one thing though I will recommend when using copying and pasting is it may make your song if you use it too much it may make your song too repetitive which is uh, I feel an oversight in my first maps that I ever made and so now I tend to not make it uh, repetitive. I generally don't use copy and paste ever when I make my maps. But on the note philosophy, uh, the place I want to start is explaining song structure. Song structure determines how I map my notes. And if you see here, this is the song intro looking at the waveform. This gets into the verse. Well, let me play it first. So this is the intro. It's just the synth playing some notes. It's nice and quiet. I like to generally use lighting for that section. This next section, it turns on the beat. You hear the drums, you hear the vocals, and a little bit more synth. And but it's still light, so I'll do single notes like this. And one thing that happened there, if you notice these notes changed, it's because I'm putting emphasis on this area by using these double notes because it's coming to a close. If you'll hear it, I'll play it one more time, there's a synth that's going in and out here and cutting off, and then her vocals are also coming to a close. It's like she's taking a breath. So I'm, I'm basically mimicking the song energy and the feel of it with uh, my notes. And then it heads into this next verse section. Um, one thing I want to note uh, before we get into it too far is how I like to make my notes flow. So if you'll see here, I'm you, when, when someone would swing down, they would swing down to the left, and then they'd swing back up to the right, swing back, and swing down. These redirects are nice and comfortable unlike redirects that make you move too far in the time that's given. So if I were to put notes like this, this would be a pain because you're swinging down, then you have to redirect insanely fast to get a full swing off on this note. 
And then also, when you have two notes that are pointing the same direction, what's going to happen is when you swing to hit this note, your sword's here. So then when it gets here, this is a very awkward movement. So you, you, get, you get this weird, awkward redirect, and it doesn't feel good. What feels good is when you extend all the way to the end of your swing, you extend through this all the way to the end, extend through that, and extend down to this one. So pay attention and visualize what these notes are doing to uh, the player's body. Pretend like you, you can actually do this. Like I'll stand up whenever I create notes, and I'm like, I'm not sure if this will work too well. I'll stand up and I'll swing my arms around just to imitate the flow and see if it see how well it does or if it needs tweaking. So again, back to this map. We're here in the verse. It's going nice and slow, and then it comes up to another transition. And I need someone to hold on to. And so you can see over here on the waveform that the energy, you can see the energy, not only hear it, but see the energy increase. And so when that energy changes, I like to change my notes, uh, note placement again. So now I went from single notes back there to just doing doubles, 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 doubles. I make the, I, I base it off of the energy and the energy here is telling me to hit heavier. And then again, we just picked up the energy in another section. Um, the section before this, that was the verse. This one I like to call the pre-chorus because it's starting and building into what's going to be the chorus, which is going to hit heavy. Um, so in this whole section, though, I've increased my note placement. Uh, there was a really loud hit here, so I like to double notes whenever notes are louder. Um, and then I just have dot, 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 dot. I'm playing with these fun rhythms. As you see, they're not on the half note beat exactly. Some of them are, this one's a quarter note. Da, da. Um, so if you, if you have an understanding of music, it's definitely going to help you here uh, and help you with improvising because that's essentially what you're doing is with these notes, it's like you're playing along to the song as another instrument. So we just went through a little bit of a buildup, and now we're about to get into a really solid buildup um, that's going to build into the chorus. So what I did there was I threw in one of those twirls. It's just a lot of high energy, fast movement that's getting you pumped up, um, and this is following the energy of the song. And then it hits the chorus, and the chorus is just nice, loud, punchy, and driving. And as you can see, I'm doing a lot of notes all over the place. Because the energy has turned up, I've also turned up the energy of the swings that I'm asking these players to use and how far I'm asking them to swing. And another thing I want to point out is rhythm is important. So what I'm doing here, when I go through this chorus, I don't like a, the same uh, chorus over and over. I want to vary the rhythm and play with it. So what I'm doing is not only playing with the energy of the notes and throwing them everywhere, but I'm also making the energy of the sections different too. So these, you're hitting these, you're really wide, sending your arms way out. And then in this section, you're going straight up, straight down. And then over here, it's a really tight section, so the energy is very contained because you're having to hit these fast. And then it loosens up. I like to space out um, my high energy sections because you don't want to just have one hell of a banging chorus. I mean, maybe some people do, and some people may enjoy that. But what I like to enjoy is I like those breaths between high energy intense sections. <laughs> And then you can also hear it in this music where it, it hit a note and then there was like a pause. 
So I took that and I played with that. I was like, let's hit that pause then. Let's emphasize that by making the notes go slower. Ooh, drum fills. I fucking love drum fills. Here's a, this one is a gnarly one and it is delicious because you don't even see it coming, but when it comes, it feels so good that I map that out. And now we're back to the verse. It's nice and quiet, nothing's really happening, I'm just making it go slow, and then it, it transitions. You hear those drums get added, you hear the synth and bass get added, and then I turn that energy up. And then another juicy drum roll. And so I'm just playing different ideas here. I don't like to stick to one idea an entire song unless I'm like recalling it and like rehashing on that idea to just give it more emphasis. But generally what I like to do is I just go through the song and I just have fun. I'm just feeling it as it goes and I'm trying new ideas and experimenting and what comes of it comes of it. <laughs> Again, we're back to a slow section. You could call this the bridge, and it takes a slow build into the next course, next and final course. So long, you hear those drums pick up. Bass synth, all that picks up. with a drop. I don't know if you call that a drop. So yeah, just be creative with it. Throw stuff around. Uh, play with it. Definitely play test your maps. I can't stress that enough. That's what's going to help you out. And have other people play test your maps and get feedback on it. That'll help as well. Um, and then here's the final section. You can see like the energy is just pumping and I'm just throwing in hard notes to, to bring the song home. <laughs> Here, I would play with some lighting, play with some lighting to end that song out. But that's pretty much my general philosophy. Um, I think really though, it just takes playing with it and practicing. You just have to try, try again, get feedback if you want it, um, and just, just keep playing. That's really what's going to do it for you. So... Editing, uh, not editing, but sending your song to Beat Saver is the last thing we want to do. And so what I'll do is I'll actually take us to our song in the folder. It's called Last Dance. Um, and actually, before we export, I want to show you one quick tip. So one thing you could do is you can copy your map this is when you're making other difficulties copy and paste that map and then name it that lower difficulty expert hard normal what have you and when you go back in here and add a difficulty select it change the difficulty name to expert apply modifications when you edit this level now it's going to be the copy and then all you have to do is 
you know, reduce the notes if you're going from one to the other, however you want to do it. Reduce the notes, change it up, change the flow up, anything you prefer, you can do. So after that, um, after your song is complete, what you want to do is you want to zip your file. I use 7-Zip. I believe it's another open source software. And I zip it. Then what I do from there is I go to beatsaver.com, log in, register, yada, yada. Oh, oh good. Password's not showing. Uh, and then you can upload your song here after creating um, an account. Choose the file. Grab that guy. Put in your name. Yada, yada, yada. Acoustic remix. However much information you want to put here so that people know um, what it's all about. You can even put your name there. Whatever you want. Um, and then in the beat description, I would recommend after you create your song, go make a YouTube video of it and um, include that YouTube video link here. Uh, you can also say what levels uh, you have made for this map, um, if there's inspiration, if you collabed, any information you want to put here um, or share, you know, all of your, um, uh, your channels that's also a good idea to put here as well just so that your coverage can get out and people can realize who you are and if you make awesome maps um yeah that's definitely going to help get your name out there hope you guys have fun uh the next tutorial we'll do will be lighting let me know if you have any questions and have a good one